take me on a treasure hunt. Hello friends and happy Friday. Thank you for stopping by to visit and see what's new here at Cottage to Courtyard. I hope you've all had a great week. Well, for me, it's been a little bit of a tough week because our dear friend Jim went to be with the Lord after a courageous battle with cancer. He was such a wonderful human being, husband, father, and grandfather. And I have to say that the world is definitely a better place because he was in it. So I'm dedicating this video to Jim as a remembrance to our dear friend. Also, two years ago, I made a video of Jim and his beloved vintage car, Mr. Ed, a 1959 Edsel Ranger. And if you'd like to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And now on to the video. First up is my topiary DIY. I absolutely love topiaries inside my home as well as in the garden. But you know, they can be quite expensive, can't they? I wanted a couple for my fireplace mantel, but couldn't find any that I loved at a good price, so I just made them. What's great about these 32 inch tall topiaries is I made them for just under $14 each, and that includes the terracotta pots and saucers. Such a deal, and they took about seven minutes to make each one, plus another oh, 10 minutes or so to whitewash the pots and saucers and then add the faux moss. You want to see how I did it? I thought you topiary lovers might, so let's get started. But first, let's take a closer look at the topiary, okay? Before we go any further with the video, I wanted to let you all know that I whitewashed the pots and saucers with chiffon cream chalk paint to give them a well-used look. After that dried, I used ready mix concrete patch and a bit of forest moss green craft paint mixed to about the consistency of toothpaste to create the faux moss and dabbed it on with my stencil brush, a little heavier in some areas than others. While it was wet, I used my mister bottle to mist it so that it would run a bit, giving it a feathered look along with drip marks sort of like rain that had washed through it. After that dried, I mixed dark brown craft paint with concrete patch mix to mimic a bit of dirt on the pots, then lightly dabbed it on with my stencil brush. Doing this adds a lot of texture and I just love that. Before I started my project, I went to Hobby Lobby and purchased the tall stems and the greenery bushes at 50% off along with the two terracotta pots and saucers which were not on sale but still very inexpensive. The tall stems were $5.99 each and the small greenery bushes were $6.99 each and of course both of those were 50% off. To get started I cut the stem down about 10 inches off of the tall stem that you're seeing there and next I hot glued a Dollar Tree styrofoam round to the inside of a different pot and placed it inside the terracotta pot, then placed the tall stem inside it. I did it this way so that if I chose to, I could remove the topiary with ease if I wanted to use the terracotta pots for something else. I also forgot to mention that I already had the uh, two round styrofoam pieces from the Dollar Tree on hand, so I didn't have to go out and purchase those. But next, I filled the top of the pots with mostly Spanish moss and added a tiny bit of green moss, both of which I already had on hand to top dress them. After I did that, I fluffed the small green bushes and placed one near the top and the second one about six to seven inches below it. I didn't even have to hot glue these in place because I tucked them into the tendrils that are on the tall stem which held them very sturdily in place. After that, I wanted to cover up the stems of the small greenery bushes with a little green moss and it worked perfectly. Okay my friends, here are the two completed topiaries sitting side by side. What do you all think? I just love them. I still have a little adjusting and fluffing to do on them before I place them on my fireplace mantle, which I will show you how I style them in a video coming up next week. 
And if any of you are considering making a set of these topiaries for yourself or as a gift for someone, I highly recommend doing so. They are so inexpensive and easy to make and they turn out fantastic. I'm sure you all know how expensive high-end wispy looking topiaries like these can be in the boutiques we love to shop in or specialty home decor stores. And this is a great way to get that look for much, much less. And now for my birdhouse project. I purchased this large birdhouse at an antique store and shared it in a hall with you all a while back. I knew I wanted to incorporate it into my garden by adding it to a decorative post. We found this eight foot porch post at Home Depot for about $27, brought it home and cut it down just a bit and set about placing it in the garden. But first we had to dig a hole and set it in permanently. And since my hubby had a stroke earlier this year, mixing concrete was not an option. So he chose this amazing product, Sika Post Fix from Home Depot. It was about $15 and wow, is it ever easy to use, sets up fast and creates a very strong hold. Before installing this amazing product, my husband made sure that the uh, porch post was level and then watched a YouTube video on how to use this product. All you have to do is follow the directions on the package, which is easy and voila, it's done. It starts to set up immediately and is firmly in place within two to three hours. First, we painted the post white and added a large hook so that I can hang a garden basket on it, a watering can, or even a hanging flower planter. The sky's the limit. After that, I decided that the white paint was just a bit too stark, so I added some antiquing wax so that it would match the finish on the birdhouse a bit better, and I'm very happy with it. So do you all see the rose bush growing there on the left side of the post? Well, I'm training it so that it will climb up the birdhouse post and look gorgeous. The rose is summer romance and is not a climbing rose per se, but it can be trained to climb, which I'm doing. And here's a look at what summer romance looks like in full bloom. Gorgeous, isn't it? Here's a closer look at the birdhouse and post after I added the antiquing wax. Much better and yes, I will be adding about three coats of clear sealer to protect it from the weather. I'm going to have so much fun this summer with decorating the post, etc. I'll be adding a few finishing touches to the birdhouse which you will all see in my garden tour video coming up in a couple of weeks so stay tuned. All right, my sweet friends, that's going to do it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it and found a little inspiration for creating beautiful things for your home and garden. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you back here next week for more fun decorating here on Cottage to Courtyard. Until then, take care, my lovelies, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.